Hello there, everyone. Welcome to You and I Play. We are here about to start a new adventure in the post-apocalyptic wasteland. Yeah, hi. Uh, we're here today playing Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. Many of you may have heard of this game. Uh, I'm actually mostly going to be surprised if many people have heard of this game, but it's always nice to be surprised on the internet. Uh, I think what we're going to do today, Ed, <gasps> is random character. We're going random. Oh, oh okay. Um, I mean, we could, you know, we could min-max it at this level, but uh, I don't want to bore the guy. No, no, it's going to take a while, and also, it's just not as much fun. And everyone knows how much we like fun, right? Right. <laughs> we're, you know, we're the life of the party. You and oh, I. yeah, we are. We are, we are just right. in there. So, new world. I think everything's going to we'll just leave it as defaults. Uh, we don't need anything. I mean, we could add a bunch of stuff, but most of it is like extra, extra no stuff. No joke monsters. Uh, no fun. <laughs> Here's all the no fun Yeah, ones. where is the no fun? Right. What we're going to do is. Is that a good name? Do you like it? I don't like it. It's not going to be Highlands. No, we need Fipsburg. Fipsburg. That's, right, that's, yeah. that's, that's acceptable. Okay with that. I, I can go with that. Okay. New uh, world generated. Let's are you sure you're finished? I'm pretty sure I pressed yes. Here we go. Moses Foley. Well, that's a terrible name. You need to change that now. Ugh. We are going with Mike Check. Everyone say hello to Mike Check, being our first... Hello, Mike Check. Our first ever episode. Our first ever episode. So if the sound is terrible... That's because this is a mic check. Hey! All right, enough of the slapstick. We have got an evacuee Who with is... some intelligence. I actually quite like those stats. These are pretty good stats. Uh, he did gain. He hates fest. He hates vegetables, and uh, I didn't see the other one, but. Oh, he's a survivor. I think we just get survivor by default. We've got yeah. extra skill in bashing weapons somehow. Uh, oh, he's a slow, slow reader. reader. Well, aren't we all? Yeah. Bashing weapons. Free. Right. <laughs> let's go. Come on, let's Mike. Do, let's do this. Come, Come on, on, Mike. Check. All right. right. <laughs> we win. We win. We win. Right. We have not died yet. Okay. So that is an accomplishment. We are more accomplished than most people in this scenario because we have actually survived this far. Yes. Quite how, I don't know. We could take any of this stuff, but what we're just going to do is head into the basement. Uh, it's, it's always the risk. Oh, oh it's a good oh. basement. So there might be something to beat up down here. We should check our inventory. We've got a pocket knife, which we should probably wield. That's a good idea. I like having something I can stab with. D -d -don't, don't ask me details about that. Just know that stabbing right. things is good. So... That's hammer? a, hammer. Do you want a hammer. Oh, there you go, a bashing weapon. Oh, we're good at those, aren't we? Yeah. Let's wield that. Let's not wear it. No, we, we can't. Oh, we can. I pressed Shift W, which is where. Oh, not good what job. I wanted. So if a zombie turns up here, we're going to be all right. Yep. We're good. Oh, hello. So. so viewers will notice that this is a true roguelike. Uh, we'll leave this down here. This will be our base of operations, I think. Um, oh, yeah. Fitz shirt. A pair of socks would be nice. Uh, a true roguelike, I call it, because not only is it extremely difficult... <laughs> That's an understatement. It is an understatement. But, um, the world waits for you in this game. Time waits for this man. So whenever you make a move, Let's you say see we... here how fast it is. So our current speed is pretty good. That's 100. And each movement is taking 105 ticks, game ticks, yep. to achieve. Yep. Uh, should we check the overall map quickly? I, I was just going to peek out the window. Oh, all right. Okay, fine. You can do that. So, what we got here? There's always a road. It's always there's a road. A, there's a pipe there. There's a pipe. Oh, we can use that. Uh, probably a bashing weapon. <laughs> oh, I didn't turn circular distances on. Ah. Uh, That's okay. We, um, we can live without that. We'll, we'll play it the way it's meant to be played. Hmm. Yeah, no, that's fine. But no. Sure. So... Yeah, it's a very interesting system where it, it's it's not like real time, but it's not quite turn based either, because they've gone for this almost in between where you have these ticks, which only occur when you take an action, and each action uh, requires a certain amount of ticks. But that's also true of your opponents. So you can get in some really sticky situations where if you try and climb over a bench, 
That costs like 300, like it pops up and says, moving past this bench is slow. So that's 300 ticks, potentially, and that's a lot of ticks. <laughs> Meanwhile, oh, shit. But, well, it basically means that if a zombie only needs 50 to hit you, that's a lot of hits that the zombie can get in. Well, we can see how long it is. So 130 is... Climbing over the bench. Climbing over the bench. I think it's 130 to get off of it again. Because right. each of those movements... I've pressed six twice, and it's right. said 130 times. Okay. Uh, I'm so, currently yeah. using the the numeric keypad to move, but you can use the Vi keys, which are H, J, K, and L. The mm. only reason you don't is that Y and N are directions. So if it's asking you if you want to do something, which is why by default you have to press capital Y and capital N. Mm. If it's asking you to do something and you're holding down the Y key to go diagonally, you're going to say yes and do it. Yeah. Which is usually really step into that streak of acid. <laughs> Are you sure you want to dive into that volcano? Right, so we picked up some stuff. Let's have a look at what we've got. We've got a long sleeve shirt that fits, and a pair of wool socks that fit. Now, encumbrance is a thing in this game. Encumberment? Something like that. Encumbrance. No, it is um, encumbrance. And basically, it means if you wear two pairs of fitting shirts, that's not great, because it means that it's going to make... Hmm. What would the word be? It make you slow, sluggish, and... Encumbered? Yeah, yeah, we'll go with encumbered. Good job. <coughs> Thanks, Ed. You really cleared that up. So I'm wearing two long sleeve shirts right now, and you can see my torso encumbrance down here is two, which is a combination of the number of items I'm wearing that cause encumbrance and any specific encumbrance those items have. Because they both fit... It's, the cost is reduced. The encumbrance is zero. Because I'm wearing two of them, the encumbrance is... Two. So that's not brilliant because that will throw you off guard, especially with your arms. Let's go out uh, the, it's really, really important to keep this in consideration so, we'll because take the shirt off. generally zombies are wearing very little, so they find it very easy to hit you. And if you can't dodge and you can't block, which you generally can't because you have no fighting skills at the beginning of the game, it means that you get hit very easily. I'm looking at this now, having taken my shirt off. Yeah. Well, hey, ladies. Oh. And note, my torso is still at two. I believe it's, in fact, the winter coat. So if we were to take this coat off... Oh, we're going to take the winter coat off. Oh. It's warming here. Oh, my. I'll drop it for now. And we will wear this shirt. We now have a encumbrance of three. Wow. How what? did we do that? <laughs> is, is it because it's on the wrong layer, perhaps? I'm not entirely sure that that's still the case. Because, I mean, you, you can reorder them. I think you press plus again, or equals. Enter. <laughs> I can't remember. There's uh, buttons. Yeah, there's but you, you can reorder these, but I don't tend to because it doesn't seem to make any difference. So for some reason, now I have zero plus three, but plus three is the specific encumbrance of an item. Not the number of items I'm wearing. Mm. Yeah. All right, let's take the shirt off again and see if it's... Yeah, so my torso's encumbered. Is it because... It's not because it's really cold, is it? It could be. My my speed has gone red, do you see that? Yeah. Let's have a look at... No, P? No. Can you remind me how to look at my... Is it... Right, so my morale modifiers... I was just wondering if I had a morale thing going on. You can lose speed for morale. You can refuse to do things because of morale. You can lose morale pretty quickly. But the what, big one what have is we done, Edward? <laughs> the what? big one... You, well, you've dropped your blinking winter coat on the floor. I recommend you pick that back up. But why am I so encumbered? I, I just wear the coat again. Oh, that would be why. No, 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 no. Go back. We're volume my, three. Okay, so we're technically carrying my more coat than had we all the stuff in it. Yeah, so yeah. Let's drop more stuff. Okay. Let's drop this. Oh no, no, no. no. Okay, fine, oh. fine. <laughs> this. Let's drop this. You're dropping all of them now. Uh, I'm trying not there's, to. There's, there's not drop Leave me alone. Right. Go then it. Right. Gracious. Now we are not encumbered at all, so we can wear both shirts. Yes, we can. Uh, not take off. So we'll wear the shirt again. Yeah, uh, it's on the ground. Obviously. Yeah. We'll pick it up. We'll wear it. We'll have a look. Encumbered zero. So we can wear two shirts. Now this is going to be good for us because they both have bash protection. And we can reinforce these as well. Well, we have various protection. They're armour. So we can reinforce these and have good, strong 
shirts. Everything is armor in this game. And uh, that bra, oh, that's amazing armor. Bra's good armor. Well, it's metal, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Chainmail bra. <laughs> yeah. I'm wondering Pretty much. if I take this off and drop it, I'm just going to see. Right, so our temperature, which is here, we're getting colder now because I took the coat off. I wanted to see what happened. And the boots. And the boots. Yeah. I didn't mean to do that. But now we're warm again. We'll we'll go somewhere. Where should we go? Where do we go? We've got. Uh, uh, we're stuck between a rock and a hard place. Well, no, we got a forest. Which we... how would you like to live? I think we should take the high road and go into town. I think we have got to live this the the proper way. We're not just going to hide like away. Civilized gents. Yes, yes. Oh, okay. we've left a tin can. Before. Yeah, well, oh, it was heavy before, but it's mine. We'll keep it. It's pickled herring. There's um, yeah, there may be some fungus that way. Where do you really want to go? <laughs> What? What do you mean, fungus? What? I mean, there's fungaloids right outside our house. They're fungaloids. Mm-hmm. Look. Spore clouds. Oh, oh dear. Oh, yeah. Well. There's a fungaloid right here. That's, that's, wow. Uh, that, oh, my gosh. Why have we got fungaloids right outside our home? Um. I say our home. I mean the bunker, which we've been... I'm considering our home for now, because we don't have anywhere <laughs> to live, Adam. Fungaloid, isn't it? What sort of... How do you beat those things? Can I just go up and smack it? Will I turn into a fungus? Uh, you might. I need some gloves as well. Well, let's take the road. The road <laughs> most travelled. Yeah. We have safe mode on, by the way. Um, we do? Yeah, see up there where it turns on enough. Okay, we do. That's yeah. good. So safe mode will stop us if we're about to walk full tilt into an enemy. It can be extremely annoying. No. Because it is extremely annoying. But we're just going to go straight. Uh, watch out for the moose. Let's not go near the moose. Yeah, let's not go near the moose. Uh, this may be a short lived mic check. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, it might. Uh, we'll ignore. Poor oh, mic check. Let's, let's oh, God. Oh, dear. Now, yeah. mooses will stop attacking you when you're wounded. R- if where, you don't they? attack them. Are you sure? Ah. Oh, okay. Apparently, it only hit my head, though. So, should we see that over again? Bash, 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 bash. No, that now it's just continuously, like, pulping us in the ground. Yeah. This is, this is... Yeah. Well done. I accidentally missed my own epitaph there. 48 turns lasted. Mic check. Wow. 10 we, minutes. We did well. We're, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of mic check. <laughs> <laughs> Another round? Yeah, let's do this. Haven't killed any monsters yet. New game. I'm tempted to reset the world because it's going to have our crap in Ah, no, it's not. Oh, come it on. It doesn't matter where we We haven't going. changed anything. We picked up some stuff we, we, in the bottom of a bunker. We cleared out a base. We didn't even. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here we go. Psychopath called Al- Alfi. Alfi. Alfi the Psychopath. Strong reason to They have a skill in else. dodging. Yep. As all psychopaths presumably should. <laughs> I would have thought they'd have something in, I don't know, stabbing, maybe, or... Do you like this character, or can we re-roll? Uh, oh, but do you want to re-roll? It sounds like you do. No, I'm just thinking that there's not much going on down here. It's just... It's not, it's not got much going on down there. <laughs> he's a psychopath, and he's good at dodging, but he doesn't have any... You know, he's, he's a survivor, a vacuum survivor, so those aren't giving us... I'm money. not sure they change. They don't change, so... I mean... Okay, let's re-roll this one time, and we'll see what we get. Ah, oh, here we go. Wow, that's a pretty expensive character. Not very strong, but self-aware and night vision, so I'm suspecting some sort of um, sniper. Yeah, a bashing, no? cutting sniper. We've got a bathroom, though. Let's give this a chap a whirl. Stephen sure. Peterson. Stephen Peterson. Well, Stephen, we're in the same place. <laughs> Are, we? Are you sure? No. We're not. Oh, oh, that's a very good start. Hopefully there's no moose outside. Look. It's okay, there's only a police station, so we're going to get attacked by robots instead. Meese don't set off safe mode until they aggro you, which only happens when they're close to you. So by the time safe mode has told you to stop, you're dead. So safe mode is basically... If you trigger safe mode, it's no longer safe. No, because everything, zombies and things, are aggro to start with. So they trigger safe mode at the extent of your vision. Right, yeah. But 
Mooses is. Mooses is. is, is. They ain't aggro till you're right on top of them and you're up in their grill. They ain't, mate, no. Right, we've got a knife, so we might as well wield it. Yep, just in case. And we have got stabbing weapons, and we're getting chilly. Do we not have a coat on? We have got a coat on, but it's apparently still quite cold. Well, I think that's, that's all you've got. We haven't got gloves or a scarf or anything. Oh, no, we have a knit scarf. Oh, there you go. We've got a scarf, we've got boots, we've got a coat. We should be nice and, you know, copacetic right now. Hopefully. Instead, we ain't. I'm just going to do a quick, like a tractor in a field. That's how you usually do it, yeah. Um, there ain't shit up here, mate. We're on our own. <laughs> <laughs> As is how I prefer it, let's be honest. Right, I'm going to check for actual fungaloids this time. Because I swear I looked through those curtains and there ain't nothing. Oh, no, no. This, yeah, I, I didn't see anything. But yeah, but you were gabbing on about something. Oh, my gosh. How dare I talk to people about the important Ooh. mechanics of this game? Yeah, that's a closed door. You're a closed door. Wow. Wow. I know. How rude. Some people. Gosh. Um... It's a, not an uncommon start to try making uh, a crowbar whilst you're here. By smashing the crap out of these things and hoping not to track any zombies. Oh, uh, can you... You might want to... Don't seem to be damaging the bench. No, what you do is you well, get you can't a rock. disassemble it. No, you oh, get a rock. rock. Have, you, have you never played this game? I've never. <laughs> <laughs> There's a moose right outside. Uh, no, it's okay. It's only between us and freedom. Yeah. That's the way we're going, bro. Look. Yeah, I know. I know. It, We're going uh, to see the police. Hey, police. In the pump station. Oh, great. What's so this can... down here? It's probably... A beehive. Oh, that's one heck of a bee... Oh, no. Oh, that I'm must getting... be new. Have you seen those before? Not ones that big. We're playing um, 0.C, which I'm hoping is a hexadecimal number scheme, because otherwise, who does that? Because it's um, a really, really, really early version. Well, the last one we played was B, and they didn't have Bs in B. Uh, right, so we'll wield okay, this rock. Yeah, you need to. That's wearing. Wearing. Again. K for rock. It's been a while. <laughs> then we'll smash this. Yay! We'll smash this. We'll. Sp- we'll, sm- we'll. Try again. I You're t- not very strong. You can do this. He smashed the other one like it was, you know, Hulk or something. Uh, I apologise for any keyboard noises you people may be getting. Somewhat irritated by, but at the same time, it's, it's a very it, keyboard heavy. It's game. okay. It's we are smashing the keyboard to make sound effects for the bench. Aha, right. So now with the stuff around, we can press ampersand over here and produce a makeshift crowbar from memory. Because we know. I don't know about you, but I am perfectly well equipped right now to wake up in a survival shelter and construct a makeshift crowbar with a rock and an old locker. Well, let's be honest. What is it? It's a pipe. And some kind of blunt instrument. And all you do is you flatten it and then curve the edges. And that's it. So I've, t- I've turned down the curtains. And the reason I've done this is you can create a bindle. Oh, yeah. And a bindle is apparently the name of those thingamajigs. Oh, what, what the you, heck? Oh, a, a sling is what I wanted. Yeah, but what is that? A cathedra. A headdress, headdress traditionally used in the Middle East. It could be used in different ways to protect the head and mouth. From mouth. The so that that would be useful to protect us from um, uh, gas clouds and things, or a smoker zombie, for example. It's also uh, probably useful for the really cold wind the bindle. outside. See the window, but I need lots of rags. Rags. Yeah. Oh, I can probably cut up this thing. Uh, the bindle we... has. Um, let's see. I'm looking... Where am I looking? On the right. Uh, I'm looking for how much storage it has. Volume 12. Volume 12. How much is a and sling the have? of sling has 20. Oh, we, we won't But the sling those. has a huge amount of encumberment. Four. Because it's literally just a curtain over your shoulder. Yeah. Uh, the bindle has three, but to be honest, that's less than a quarter... It's less than three quarters of the other one, but that is exactly three quarters of the one. So we lose one encumberment, we lose a quarter of the encumberment for mm. making a bindle, but we lose more than a quarter of the capacity. So we might as well go for the so one with more capacity. So our sling is going to allow us to... Uh, where There's is no it? room in... <laughs> <laughs> yes. The two bars, by the way, um, are the 
Health the, of the item the health itself. Of the item, yeah, the, the durability of the item. Also, we are self-aware, which means we know exactly how... How much health how we much have. Health we have. So, I think it also affects morale. Although it could be... I was saying that we all do know. So, um, we can do some other stuff here, and it's not too far from town, although there is a moose in between us. We could just there. not walk into the moose like we did last time. You... Just, 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 you know, it's, it's possible. Keep an eye on it. Just keep an eye on it. It's seen us, but it's ignoring us. Okay, so we'll just go this way. The, the issue I'm also facing is that the closest things are terrible, terrible places to go to. Oh, there are craters There's in a there. couple of houses here. That's great. How do you feel about wandering through the forest, picking some underbrush? That and... actually, no, that's... Oh, zombie. Oh. The zombie has not seen us. It's right oh, so it's miles away. That's fine. So, no, no, I'm perfectly fine going through the forest because it increases our survival skill, which is useful for lots and lots of things. Zombie that looks like they're in wandering the... vaguely this way. There's an irradiated wanderer. I think they're at the edge of town, so that's kind of where we expected to see them. Mm. Uh, yeah, just shut up. <laughs> really, really. The irradiated wanderer is really hungry. So hungry that they're going after a squirrel. Well, this is not going after us. Yeah. So well, this is underbrush, and you can examine it and find something. Oh, hello. 20 wild herbs. 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 It's a H in it. There's an H in it. Oh, my gosh. Just... Oh, shit. There's a zombie right next to us. Uh, uh, that's uh, probably coming for us okay we need to drag it coming and... right for us that one's seen us and that one's seen us right so here's what we do here you kite the zombies across things that are difficult to pass whilst going around those things yourself you basically get the zombie temporarily stuck on a thing I'm pretty sure like I was going to get here. stuck on the tree yeah so this small tree to the left of us oop didn't mean to press that button is going to take it a while to get through. Are we still wielding... No. Let's <laughs> wield the knife, which we're good at. Right? It's, it's, it's either the knife or the crowbar. So, uh, at symbol to look at yourself. And then... Bashing and cutting. Bashing and cutting. So we should be good at both. Uh, so what we really want to do is... Done. Yeah, let's go... Investigate... The H for pocket knife, quickly. H. There's no H. Well, there's an H at the end of H. But it doesn't start with one. Uh, the crowbar. Bash 12, bash 12 cut, cut one. one. So that's kind of both. Two hit bonus plus two. And then bash. Bash zero stabs seven. That's a stabbing weapon. We don't even want two to Two hit negative four. Yeah, we don't want that. We, we want the crowbar. We'll wield the crowbar. And we'll wail upon this zombie with reckless abandon. So I think you can get in a... Pro oh, hello. Oh, gosh. So you want to... Uh, okay. <laughs> as a human, you should have the intelligence to walk on the easy pieces of ground. I just saw a... Did you see a thing down there? There's another down zombie. Down here. What I think I saw an amigo. Uh, let's... Oh, oh, that's a... That's a kitty. Okay. There's, uh, there's a cougar around somewhere. So we'll we'll just kite it over these slow things. Here. Okay, now I have a chance. I'm going to move away. So two hits and then step away. Ah, we've got him. Uh, Moose is up. This is oh going gosh. To, this is a this is a tactical game at this point. We can't just go. Nuts. Something just died. It died. I think the moose is attacking the zombies. Yes, yes. Oh, oh the zombie beat the moose. Okay. Oh, oh, we got dinner then. We do have. Oh, that's brilliant. That's I'm going to hit him twice. No, just once. I think. Uh, I think we, we're oh, quite slow. Eighty-nine speed now. So yeah, I think we need to. So we can't do. Great, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Broke the bloody tree. That was my tree. What a dick. Another issue that we're going to find is that we're not going to be able to... Um, butcher hits. these corpses very well, so we're going to have to smash them. What? No, we always butcher them. We can't butcher them. We don't have a butcher knife. We have a knife, though. I don't think it's good enough. Really? Well, we can try. Why is that thing keeping pace with us? That's we're really slightly funny. slower than it. But, you know, we're cold and probably quite demoralised at this point. Oh god, what are you doing? Ah! It's a child zombie. That's what an is this? irradiated wanderer. What does that mean? Uh, let's have a look. Semicolon to look around. This rotting corpse seeps a glowing ooze from its lesions. 
Legions. Seems I had them. Love Strange it. tattered jumpsuit marks it as an oddity across the wasteland, even though there's two of the bloody things right here. We should have made a boat or something. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> wow, yeah. Uh, we should just probably run away a little bit. We could fight in the... Um, we could fight in the house thing here. What? The, mm. What? That just... Tel- Did you see that? What? That zombie just teleported in a bloody mile. In a completely random direction. I, I think we could just kite them over these, look. Oh, there you go. Yeah, they smashed through the window. Oh, you should have hit them whilst they were in the window. Whatever. Uh, that thing is... Right, so my torso is battered for seven damage. Skill in melee is increased to one. I swing wildly and miss. We should check our encumbrance, because I think if we take off the coat at this point, we're going to... Yeah. Our torso encumbrance is six. Oh. So if we take off this coat whilst we still can. We should be able to kite these across here. Do some actual damage for once. Maybe not. <laughs> oh, God. Ow, ow, ow. What? I can't move. That was them taking an extra turn because we're in quite a bit of speed now. Speed? S- pain. Mm-hmm. Seems like you've you've been affected more than I'm not dead. This is harder than it looks. <laughs> this is a lot harder than it looks. We will not bother watching that again because it is uh, no, it's it's not a repeat. It's literally what happens afterwards. No, it, no, well, no. The last time I ran it, it just showed me being shot over and over again. Yeah, because they continue shooting you because that's all they do. Once they found a target, they don't. They don't... But the target's dead. Yeah, I'm but pretty they sure it's the last matter. moments of your life. Not the, that's what it says. What will Stephen Peterson's last words be? Why didn't I have a better name? Is that really his only regret? He's got a very boring name. Yeah, but that, that doesn't mean anything. It's done. <sighs> Game over. That lasted 15 minutes. Killed a zombie. I think the moose killed it, but it counts as ours. Once more with feeling. Into the fray. So I think we'll do one more character who will probably die immediately. Uh, ooh, skilled liar. That's going to be helpful for those uh, zombies. Yeah. Sharon Shin. Intelligent six. Uh, what? Marksmanship launches rifles. Speaking for. I, I want to reroll. I'm sorry. You want to reroll? Yeah. One veto each. Parkour expert. Oh, that's good because it means we take less. No, we, um, we can jump over stuff. We oh. slow down less when we cross things. We're a skater boy. Oh, we've got a new profession. Yeah. I played a skater girl once, and it was really good. I had a very good run. Because I could put my roller skates on and bomb down the road. Oh, wow. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, we're going to stick to this, I reckon. It was also oh, accidentally a very good run as well. Hmm. Um, okay. Right, so let's... Oh, we are right next to town. We are right next to town. Let's have a look. We are in the... There's two houses. This is probably going to be a very good and very bad thing for us. I'm going to get this last curse out of the way. Just, 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 yeah. Just a curse. Uh, should we wield any? Two uh, do we have any weapons? Okay, we should probably think about wielding a, a plastic bottle of sports. I think. No. Skid with, with, Yeah, it's your helmet. It's what they call skate. Right. Skate helmets. Well, so are we are wearing the We're very boots? unencumbered except our head. We are wearing our rollerblades, so we can walk pretty fast. Walk. I don't. I Quotation don't, marks. Yeah, we can move fast. I don't think it encumbers you when. Very fast on flat floors and hard to move on rough terrain. So, we're a parkour expert wearing rollerblades. That sounds amazing. Um, so, when we're on a flat floor, we'll have a look at our, our speed uh, up at the top, see how long it takes us to move. So, it's 50 to move around here. We're about to have a fight. <laughs> that, <laughs> so that's should, brilliant. Maybe we should not be here? Yeah, let's, let's uh, leave. We should find a weapon first. Yeah. Should we? The thing that's concerning me the most. So, if I go up these... It took 100 to get up the stairs. I'm not sure if that's normal, actually. No, I'm pretty sure that's normal. It's 150 to get across the stairs, and then 50 to move around in here. So we'll investigate going over here, which is 150, which is normal. more than the 130. No, no, actually, yeah, it is. But so, I would expect it to be even more if we were not a parkour expert. So let's have a look through here. That's a very well-appointed house. Can't see any zombies in our immediate line of vision. Not that we can see very far. Let's have a look through this one. Nothing again. Nothing there. 
No, I mean, in this very I'm thin. I'm highly expecting there to be a zombie sort of around here somewhere. If we're lucky, we can. See, what I want to do is I want to quickly grab a rock so we can get mm. a crowbar so we can just get in the houses. Start wailing on zombies. So, what was our. Um, but yeah, was what it? was our skills? Poor Trapping, hearing. Trapping, dodging. Poor hearing is not too bad. No, that's one you can live with. Thin skin is going to be difficult though, so we're going to need to start archerying or firing at things mm. ASAP. Yeah. Trapping, I don't really know how to use. No. And then we've got dodging. Maybe, maybe there's a trap section in here. Uh, no. No. How do I... Look. There we go. Pressing the wrong buttons. Furniture, digging and... Uh, the, you can make these uh, pits, the spike pits and things, which is cool. Reinforcing, decorative, farming and woodcutting. So I, I've not actually looked into how to do traps. It may just be literally something that you can build. I'm pretty sure it's... Trip wire trap, yeah, there you go. Oh, so there you go. We can make traps and things. String and super glue. Is that mm. it? What does that do? Bash knot, cut knot. Trip wire trap is placed across a doorway. Trips up bypasses. Right, so... Causing to stumble and possibly hurt themselves. It essentially stuns an enemy for a very brief period of time. So should we just try and smash this window and hope for the best? If we make noise... Yeah, this is why, yeah. The neighbourhood's going to descend upon us. Yeah. We're going to... Grab a rock, smash a window, grab what we can. Smash a window without a rock. We can smash it with our plastic bottle of sports drink. <laughs> As I say, like we, we have really had Look, just... our choice is stay here and get owned by the zombie downstairs. Owned. Get owned by the zombie downstairs. That's... Or go outside and get owned by a real zombie from a real place. Like, well, honor... Are you saying that zombies from bunkers are not real? I'm just saying we can die on I think that <laughs> I think if I was a zombie in a bunker, I'd be offended. We can die honourably by at least trying. Yeah. Yes, let's at least try. Let's go, let's go into the house. It's definitely the best option. What I'm going to do is peek around some corners and have a look to see what sort of things we're going to aggro. A deer. A female deer. Wait, I'm going there. Right. Let's have a look. You can press Shift X in a direction, and you will step in that direction and peek around the corner. You will not be visible as a result. I usually smash in through the bathroom because bathrooms are rarely. Um, that looks like a dining room. Populated. It's a bloody bath, look. That is a bathtub. Oh, all right. That is okay. a fucking broom. All right, all right. Jeez. Jeez Louise. Have you never played this game before? See, Ammonia is good to... for cleaning... Oh, I don't want to do that. No. Ammonia is good for cleaning wounds, I think. All I right. can't remember. Or maybe that'll kill you. One of the two. <laughs> um, don't drink from the toilet, ladies and gentlemen. It's a bad idea. We can wear this. Yeah, we can wear that. I think we can wear this. Let's have a look at our encumberment now. It's the same head. Because that skid lid is two on its own. You can tell... Oh, mm. I must have got these numbers the wrong way around then. Because that two matches that two there. Yeah. So this column of zeros is the one caused by the fact that you're wearing too much. Which has not happened, so I'm happy with this bandana. As it is. What's this? A glow stick. That's probably going to be useful. At some point, yeah. So what I'm really looking for in this house... Oh... Yes. Yeah, pants, that's what I need. I'll put them on, why not? Have we got underwear on? Look, I'm just going to keep going until that number goes up. You do realise that you've just put your underwear on top of everything else. Yeah. Have you never seen Roller Girl? We should watch that. Ooh. Zombie. Right, it's that's not seen That's a zombie. But what... You can close the curtains as well if you're feeling like you're going to get spotted. Spotted like a leopard. Aluminum can of lemon lime soda. So there's nothing... I think we've been pretty lucky at this point. There's a smoker zombie in there, so they can't see us. But what I'm going to do is... Oh, hello. Zombie. It's child. And books are here. Miles away. So, I'm going to close this. 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 I feel a lot safer. So we can read. We could read something. Not, maybe not right now. Cause we could take things to read. We could, yeah. Because the bunker's so close by, which is ridiculous, um, we can use it to read at night. Because by some miracle of post-apocalyptic magic, the the console in the corner remains on. It's just connected up to the net. 
work. Obviously. It's probably some sort of magic. We should probably read under the hood. Advanced mechanics manual. So what do we need? Uh, we have to read them to find out whether we can read them, which is interesting. <laughs> Romance novel, no. Is that because we're a slow reader? Oh, was that a previous guy? That was a previous guy who was also a slow fighter. Dancing is good for uh, dodging, if I remember correctly. So. Okay, we'll take that. Uh, I think... Ooh, Burton Hill. I think ooh, wow. Top Gear... That's from Cars uh, and Mechanics. Learns you entry-level Cars and Mechanics. Which may take us to... A, uh, uh, that's, uh, we really need to be careful. Close that Should we close all the curtains in this house? Or well, I don't want to go too close to the windows. <laughs> in the halo. Is this the asthmatic person? No. No, we re-rolled that. Poncho. Oh, we have a poncho! Sorry, I like ponchos. Yeah, wear it. And we're, we're going to be really well. heavily uncumbered. You've got two... You can't wear uh, more than two briefs. Ah, <sighs> I wonder why... I do too. Uh, we are encumbered, so I'll drop the brief. There are a whole volume. Eyeglasses, we'll wear those. But what? Why would we? What? Why would we not? Because we don't need them. Look, we still haven't been encumbered, and they do. Everything that you wear provides at least a small amount of protection. So, eyeglasses, where did they go? Where are we? I'm not sure. Oh no, do you, you've wielded them as a weapon. Edward, I've. W- that's the opposite of what I want to know. Uh, I'm did already you? wearing that. T, not Y. Right, let's have a look now. Head, two. Eyes, zero. So, uh, our eye glasses. Coverage, 75%. Covers the eyes. Protection, bass three, cut four. That's pretty good protection for the eyes. Okay. Just saying. But I don't know whether it's going to affect our eyesight or not, because they're for nearsighted people. Ooh. What was that? That... Is a sewing, sewing kit. kit. That is brilliant. We're a little bit encumbered, but we can go home now and start chopping things up. Did so you find it... a knife? No. Uh, might drop these glow sticks, actually. Um, mostly because they've taken up a lot of space. So we've got 11 volume at the moment, which is a lot. I mean, we're carrying a lot, so... Said well, nine... Yeah, let's close this. Yeah, <laughs> let's, let's close this and uh, let's go over here. And uh, not be here for a very long time. Uh, how about we go to the other house next door? The other side of the bunker. Uh, run as far away as possible. Yeah. Is that my child? It's the same one we've seen. Um, yeah. I've got a crowbar, so we're going to have to smash our way in. That's fine. But I'm mildly worried that the black rat... Are they okay? I don't know. Uh, I don't, I've never had them... Caused me problems before, so. Let's have a look around the corner. There is not a lot of Two. concern, right? Yeah. <sighs> Hide. <laughs> We're in. Ba-dum. That was simple. See, right. this, these might be good places to sleep with all these blankets. Ah, oh, blankets and pillows and other soft stuff. Nicker. When it gets warmer, we can start thinking about right. our footwear. Actually, these um, roller blades... They're really useful. They're really useful, but they're probably not very warm. Yeah, well, I'm not not okay. Bike helmet. Bike helmet. This has probably got a lot of incumbent. One. Protection, bash, and 12, and cut 12. That's Let's really good, though. Let's have a look at our skid then. Which is... 18. 18, 18. Oh, we're keeping that. For one, one more incumbent, then. Yeah, but that's still really good. More encumbery. Yeah, but... A lighter. And a woolen we'll scarf. We probably afford the lighter when we've got something to... This this house has got two doors. Front door and a back door. These ripped fuckers. <laughs> a go bag. We'll, we'll, we'll wear that. Yes. Why did that... Ooh. I've never seen a go bag before, so we'll have a look at it. Uh, and... Volume 143. Weight 80 Whoa, kilograms. Whoa! What?! A huge duffel bag with backpack attached? It's packed full of crap. Look, you disassemble it and you get all that shit. Holy moly. Oh my gosh. We could just sort of leave with this and disappear. Shall we just grab as much stuff as we can from this house and then dive into the bunker? Um, we have... Our volume hasn't changed, so the go bag doesn't actually provide any... No, because it's... You can't go into the bunker. There's a zombie in the basement. Well, okay. Bunker, not in the basement. 
because we can prepare to go into the basement and deal with them. Oh, and a message from Jack. Well, let us carry some more stuff. We are. We need to find some. What? Who lives here? <laughs> There's a flame resistant suit. I'm guess special agent. Special agent. They've got to be a special agent. They have to be a special agent. A special agent. A female know, special know, agent. Do uh, Well, you're saying bras are good. Um, we're a skater boy we don't I'm just checking torso 4 plus 1 I'm guessing uh, it's the bra because it doesn't say bra fits you yeah? no the bra doesn't fit funnily enough what look I <laughs> know <laughs> oh, that's the same so that must be the go bag doing that you're not we've got two bags on is what I'm saying yeah so I'm gonna that's fine I'm gonna put my bra back you put, put my bra back on can't stop me Fine. It is bash one, cut one, protection. That's that's something, all right. Yeah. The, what's so the protection? Those bits you don't want zombies to look at, which I have. It's, it's, they're Can not you? quite the same as the the other the other ones. Yeah. I don't know but about the, that. I'm very self conscious. Yeah. Okay. They're protecting what? my nipples, and I need <laughs> I need those. <laughs> Yeah, okay. They, they're pretty useful, yeah, but like, let's just move on, shall we? I, I think what we should probably I'm do... I'm getting pretty point, uncomfortable with this... Look, we've survived more than ten minutes with this particular character. I'm very happy and I'm, with that. And I'm concerned that we don't push our luck. And so you've decided that you've got so, to go for the most important thing, which is protecting your nipples. I'm going to protect my nipples until the next episode. Uh-huh. Where we'll yeah. rejoin... Brilliant. Look, I can't rem- remember the name of the person. Sydney. Sydney. We're going to rejoin Sydney. Sydney in the next episode. Uh huh. And we're going to yeah. make his bra fit. We're going to practice his sewing. Okay. So that he can be comfortable in his new bra. Right. His, his protective bra, which will reinforce. Okay. And hopefully, we'll have enough protection to take on the zombie living in our basement. Hopefully, there's only one. <laughs> the zombies. Living the dead, dead in they're not even living. Yeah, they're not even living. They're just existing. Yes, plaguing our base. Yeah. But until then, TTFN. Bye bye for now. <laughs>